Fabulous executive living bordering Oak Mountain State Park. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty, 356-5412. Call on Colleen. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 16th day of June. James Spann here, and uh, things are calming down. The storms are up north today. Looks like heat will be the big story for a while. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots. How about a sunny day on the Alabama Gulf Coast? That's the uh, Gulf Shore Sky Cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites. Looks, somebody's, uh, looks like somebody's off uh, parasailing there in the distance, but everybody enjoying the surf in the sand on a sunny summer day. Up this way, there's the Chiha Sky Cam. You know, they're at 83, while most everybody else is sitting around 90 today. Typically about uh, 7 to 10 degrees cooler up on the big mountain there at 2,400 feet. And from Jasper, a very similar sky there. That's in Walker County. And as warm air aloft begins to creep in, that's going to cap off those developing cumulus towers. And it sure looks like most folks are going to be dry through Friday. Here's a water vapor satellite shot. Next MCS indeed is passing north of here. And accordingly, things are pretty dry from Texas across the deep south. And it's warm, you know what, but it could be hotter. Uh, we're thankful for the good soil moisture. Uh, temperatures are mostly in the upper 80s and low 90s at mid-afternoon. And quite frankly, that is below guidance. And I do think the guidance is too warm for the next several days. Uh, you look at the model output, they've got 96, 97, 98. We'll probably shave about 3 or 4 degrees off of that. Uh, to get the numbers right for the next several days. Still hot, no doubt about that, but it could be worse. And yeah, the action today passing north of here. Uh, Nashville getting a severe storm as I do this update about uh, 2.30. That's a severe thunderstorm watch from the Alabama border north up into uh, Kentucky that includes Lexington, uh, Crossville, Chattanooga, but uh, no impact on Alabama. And again, uh, any storm should be pretty isolated this afternoon or this evening. Uh, rest of today and tonight, the main severe weather action will be from the uh, middle of the nation down uh, toward the Atlantic coast. Again, that risk includes places like Omaha, St. Louis, Knoxville, Tennessee, Charleston, South Carolina. Pretty much the same deal tomorrow. Uh, slight risk in that area just north of here. The upper ridge should keep it uh, the storms that are organized a little north. And on day three, same deal, risk of severe weather for uh, parts of the Great Lakes, upper Midwest. Rain for the next five days. This valid through Sunday morning at uh, 7 o'clock. And, of course, the heaviest rain should be up north. No rain for places like Shreveport and Jackson. But I do think we'll start to see scattered storms here Saturday as the ridge begins to back off to the west, as you'll see in the modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Nice trough out west. 588 ridge covers the deep south. And, again, that should keep us pretty much on the dry side. Uh, there's the surface chart. Uh, showers and storms should be shunted north and east of here. Uh, places like Nashville, Atlanta could see a thunderstorm, but uh, anything around here should be pretty isolated. And you know the disclaimer, there's always the chance of a storm on a hot summer day, but most folks ought to be dry Thursday. Upper Ridge right over us at 588 Circle. So it should be hot and dry with mid-90s. Same thing on Friday. Again, we note the short wave to the north, and then Saturday the whole thing begins to buckle as a trough forms over the east, and that should allow a surface boundary down this way. Now, these surface maps are not that useful in summer. I've said that before. I'll say it again. Uh, there, there should be some storms around here Saturday. No, it's not going to rain all day, but a storm could pop up at almost any time, and pretty much the same deal Sunday. The uh, ridge is uh, centered back off to the west of here, trough on the Atlantic coast, and we'll mention a chance of scattered showers and storms. Highs over the weekend. Probably 88 to 91, something like that. And Monday of next week, again, uh, the uh, uh, most significant uh, part of the ridge is west of Alabama. So it looks very typical. We'll have to watch out for some northerly flow type thing. And the same thing on Tuesday of next week. The winds aloft are out of the uh, north there. So any storms that fire in, say, uh, Kentucky or Tennessee or Missouri could wind up in here. And we'll go way out there. The end of the forecast period, the 2nd of July. Well, the good news, no uh, super heat showing up. Uh, when you start to see those uh, 594 lines, that's when it gets nasty. But that's a 588 ridge, very standard thing for summer, and that looks like typical early July weather. Uh, warm, muggy, chance of a few showers and storms, you know the deal. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you are local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.
Wait, wait, wait.